are going to see how to automate a test using AppPim library and robot framework. To start, I've already created a project. Inside the project, there is a test suite addition. Now we're going to add a library, the Appium library. You have just to type the name of the library. And in the argument, we'll add, uh, we'll add the timeout which is 15 seconds in our case so so now we're going to launch to start an emulator but to do that we go to the tools folder inside the android sdk and we type cmd so we type emulator dash evd and the name of your avd that is available in my case, I have an AVD named Nexus 5 EPI 23X86. So the I will be using in my test the the Android default calculator. Uh, we will be doing some basic math with it, automating some basic. Uh, operation we will use UI automator automator viewer or the tool that comes with the Android bundle to view and inspect the elements so it's super easy to use uh, which takes snapshot of the current application and the UI Automator Viewer will give us all the information that we'll need to in order to automate the test. So we will, we will this tool give us the expand, the class name, the index of the element, the text that is contained within that is contained by the element, and uh, other useful informations. Information. So of So I've already created a test case in which I open the application using the keyword open application. So uh, this one takes the server, the serv this keyword take as arguments the server URL the, and the platform, the platform name, the platform version, the device name. In my case, it's Nexus 5 API 23. In your case, you may have another Android virtual device use it and we need the package name and the app activity to that will open as and when we start the application so we will test this line by running it to see if it is working or not and if we have the correct setup so we start up yum and then we run our test but before make sure that you've added the this argument that specify where where will where the reports will be saved so we start our save our test here we are it is And the test passes. We have we've succeeded, and the app is opened. So now we can start adding other keywords in order to create a test that simulates a user doing some basic math operations. In our case, we will do an an addition we will add two numbers and we will at the end we will verify the result if it is the result that we are expecting so we will
so we need now to click an element and we can find in this website that all the elements that can all the keywords that are available to us through the appium library we will need the keyword click element to perform a click on it on an element it takes it takes as as an argument locator and the types of locators that are available to us are the our ID name expat class so there is a lot of options in our case we will be using the expat so we type the the keyword which is click element and we go look for the we will go look for the for the key for the expat of the element of the element and we will be using also the text that is contained within the element so We will copy the line to to gain to so we will after clicking seven we will click on plus and then plus sign and then we will click on two then we will click equal to obtain the result to get the result and then we need to close the application and for that there is a specific keyword which is close application that this keyword doesn't take any any argument so we will just now we test our 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 test case execute our test case so here we are and the test fails and that's because we've made an error in the keyword close application actually the, this error is due to double space between the word close and application we have to delete the one space in order to solve this problem so here we are and now we start our test again or we replay our test again so here we are and the test fails again and this time because it doesn't find an element and this error is because the app tries to, the app yom tries to click the element before that the app before the element is ready or the element is visible into in the application so to solve this problem we have to wait until the element is present in the in the current view so then we can click it so we will we will use this keyword wait until page contain contains element and the element will be the button that contains seven and we will wait for it five seconds and this will solve our our problem here we are
and our test passes. So now we need to assert the result and verify that we get through the we get nine through the test. We'll load the new the new screen to inspect the element. So here is it. We will be using XPath to find the element and by the end. We will need the expat, uh, the class name for that, and we will be using a keyword, a specific keyword, which, which is in this case element attribute should match, and the attribute text of the of the edit box should be or the text box should be equal to nine. We will use expat to find the element so here we are and the uh, the attribute that will, as I said, the attribute that uh, that we will be comparing against is the text attribute. So, and she, it should match nine, or it should equal nine. So we run our tests, our tests, and here we can see the result. And the test passes. If if you want to load the report to, to see the report, you can click on the report button, and uh, you will see it see it in a browser like this. And a robot framework gives you a sophisticated report which contains a lot of features you